Metagenomic data analysis, a field to unravel the microbial community. Come, let's explore together the limitless potential of metagenomic data analysis through our comprehensive training program designed for beginners, intermediate learners, and advanced practitioners. So whether you are starting your journey or seeking to expand your expertise, this program equips you with the skills and the knowledge to excel in this dynamic field. Let's first discuss how the field metagenomics came into existence. In the 1800s, the link between diseases and microorganisms was established, shedding light on isolated bacteria functions. And today, we understand that the human microbiome consists of structured communities forming biofilms with complex interactions aiding ecological stability. Advances in metagenomics enables the study of vast majority of uncultivable microorganisms within their natural environments. This program will cover bioinformatics analysis of metagenomic sequencing data, which includes genomic sequencing technologies, data utilization, analysis tools, and also real-world applications. Since 1900s, microbiome studies have made significant progress notably through initiatives like the Human Microbiome Project, enabled by metagenomic sequencing advances, allowing characterization of microbiota in various human organs, presenting opportunities and challenges in identifying their roles in organ health and disease. In this program, we will learn about the different types of metagenome sequencing techniques to different types of data that is generated, such as OTU sequences, that are annotated by mapping onto a reference database such as the ribosomal database project or green genes or the silva database. Such databases contain taxonomic information for the domains of bacteria, archaea and eukarya based primarily on phylogenies for small subunit RRNAs which include 16S for prokaryotes and 18S for eukarya. Based on the mapping of specific regions, amplified from the 16S RNA gene is the small subunit of bacterial ribosome. OTUs can be assigned to belong to a taxonomic class of bacteria, yielding a proportionate view of the community. Each community can then be studied by comparing with others or between similar communities in different conditions or individuals. Such analysis includes an in-depth understanding of data preparation, reference databases, and analytical approaches to answer specific questions based on solid evidence. Importantly, sequencing data represents only one type of microbial omics, with many more becoming increasingly available. Many questions about the role of microbiome members and communities are now being answered using next-generation sequencing genomic data as well as mass spectroscopy approaches for proteomics and metabolomics. Indeed, the next phase of microbiome research lies in the ability to integrate multi-omics datasets that combine next-generation sequencing, mass spec and structural data with phenotypic information about overall changes in the community and their environment. In the program, we will go through three different pipelines. The first one is taxonomy classification. And then we have data to pipeline that denoises and corrects errors in amplicon sequence data, providing high resolution, error-free sequence variance as output. Next, we will also learn about the kind to pipeline, which analyzes and processes microbial community data, offering diverse outputs like taxonomic assignments, diversity matrix, and visualizations. Behind many of the methods are scripts written in popular coding languages such as R and Python. These are also explained in tutorials that you will have an access to through the program, which includes beginner tutorials on data importing, preparation for analysis, and standard visualization of processed data taking you to an advanced level of understanding. More specialized packages with publication-ready outputs will also be covered in more advanced lessons. We will also learn about the basics of functional metagenomics that explores the genetic potential and metabolic activities of microbial communities in a given environment. So what kind of projects can be studied using metagenomic sequencing? There are many applications that include skin conditions, food sensitivity of the gut, autoimmune disorders, cancer, antibiotic resistance, 
drug resistance and even ecological studies. In this program, we will learn to find and analyze data from such repositories as the Human Microbiome Project, which includes a data set called the American Gut. The Citizen Science Project has a lot to offer for those interested in basic microbial composition of different types of samples from healthy and mildly sick individuals. Not only this, there's a lot to learn through different projects. We'll meet you in the program. Thank you.